Welcome to the Evansville Museum of Art, History, and Science. I'm Peg, a docent at the museum. Today I'd like to talk about shiny objects and reflections in artwork. We're going to compare two works of art that seem to shine and reflect light. The first is Brass Piles by Janet Monifo. Next to it is Balancing Act by Jeanette Pazin Sloan. The artist, Janet Monifo, uses a graphite pencil to make a small sketch before she creates a larger pastel drawing. For the larger canvas, she uses pastels, like these sticks, to create still lifes, like brass piles. Notice the many warm shades of orange, gold, and brown to create the brass, as well as the touches of white and the purple flowers. For brass piles, the artist experimented by throwing shiny brass objects into a random pile, but soon decided it was a mess. She ended up arranging the brass objects by shapes into patterns. She let the natural light from her studio illuminate the objects. How do you think the artist made the object shine? Where was the artist standing as she created these objects? Where was the light coming from? Let's look at a close-up. Can you see a reflection of the room where she created brass piles? White curtains? The outdoors? Notice how the highlighted spots of white and shadows make this work of art seem realistic and three-dimensional, as if you could touch the objects. Now we'll look at Balancing Act by Jeanette P. Sloan. As a young mother, Jeanette P. Sloan would paint in her kitchen while her children were asleep. She became fascinated with reflections that shiny objects, like toasters, could create. In fact, painting while taking care of toddlers must have been quite a balancing act. This artwork is a high quality digital print of her original painting. In this still life, three silver cups lined in gold and a shiny storage box are balanced, more or less, in a silver bowl. They are super realistic, like a photo, but offer so much more. Now let's look at some close-ups of this work of art. What reflections do you see? Some have seen reflections of the artist herself, a statue, even a snake. What do you see reflected in gold within the cup? Look carefully and use your imagination. Both of these artists chose shiny objects to create their still life artwork. Now it's your turn to do the same. Here's one activity you might try. Organize some shiny and safe objects like the ones below and take a photo. Go to Instagram, find the Evansville Museum and post your photo. This is one I did at home and I'm sure you can do much better. Or here's another activity. Place one or two shiny objects from your kitchen in front of a mirror. Notice the reverse image of the spoon and fork in the mirror. Draw the objects and their reflection. Once again, go to Instagram, find the Evansville Museum, and post your photo. I hope you enjoy your artistic experiments with shiny objects and reflections.